hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel so welcome to this channel um if you're new here welcome remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video so guys um in today's video i want us to talk about this um lady lilypop yes linda lilypop tv here on youtube now if you don't know who lilypop is she's a very nice talented good person she's a youtuber living in oka okay she's married to her lovely husband with one child yes they have one child a girl can see so i hope by now you have known who she is and if you still don't know her now she's a ttc mom she has been you know battling with secondary infertility she has been you know looking forward to having her other kids after having the first child i think her first child will be about five to six years now so she has been you know trying to conceive that's meaning of ttc so i think by now you have known her yes she's a very nice good talented youtuber okay so i love this lady i watch her because of her realness she's so real she always like settings the way it is she always nag the you know the nail on the head okay now you can relate to most of her video especially if you are a woman or a married woman yes even if you're a single lady you can relate to some of her videos because she's always coming out with real thing reality of how things is yes so this is what i know this lady with her channel okay and you will learn some things from her because she likes to teach or you know share her experience even the good and the bad ones now last year she came out to you know talked about to talk about her um ivf and how it felt her yes so she came out to talk about her ivf and how it felt her how she did not succeed in the ivf and she regretted some certain things like there's a lot of things she mentioned in that video okay so coming out this year so i got this notification about her her ivf story why it failed things like she's supposed to know about the ivf before going into it she shared a lot of things she threw so much light like on things concerning ivf if a woman that is yet to conceive i would advise you go check that video out and if you are a woman like considering ivf especially women that are considering to go for ivf you should go and check that video out because she threw so much light on that video she made some point now in that her video she talked about how her ivf failed her and why it failed <coughs> all the necessary things she's supposed to do that she failed to do that yes now this is the reason why i'm making this video because most of all we try to do something and we will not you know try to research she talked about research in that video now before you do something you try to research about that without researching you go into something you will probably fail like you probably fail it's always like five to ten percent chance for you to you know succeed in that thing if you don't research about it so she talked about that now another thing she talked about i want to point out is like not communicating trying to you know be secretive you know trying to hide everything now this is where i want to touch more because most women most of women we try to you know most women we try to hide some things we don't like to expose things try to you know so this is my friend information from ideas why i'm making this video is that i have a friend me or anybody no research she is even regretting it now knowing fully that i have a sister that did ivf like that got three kids through ivf so like being too secretive you know is not always good especially women we try to hide things even when we are hiding it at the detriment of our own you know self it's not everything we hide like these things are things that can make you not to you know be successful in that ivf stuff before you go into something try to interact with people that you know that have gone to that before you try to ask questions be open-minded ivf is not a scene like there's nothing like natural conceive and artificial conceiving 
for me that's what i think um i believe that everything is natural because the baby you are going to born is not a dummy is not a you know a doll baby is still a human being now I'm saying that it is good to make your research, try to know about something you want to go into. Ask people questions, those that you think that know better than you or that have gone before you, okay? Now, I know someone that have gone for IVF more than three times and it failed her. And she was using the same hospital, like the same fertility clinic she would like use that failed her until she asked questions. She started researching and someone introduced her to a better one. Now she is blessed with two kids twins at the same time okay at a go so it's good to always ask questions i'm going to end this here thanks for your patience and listening if you're yet to subscribe please click on that red button that says subscribe and after that click on the bell icon beside it that way you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video i'm going to leave the link to her video to lily pop's video where she talked about you know about ivf what she regret why she failed and what else what to do to you know to make sure that it will be successful in, you know in the subsequent time so i'm going to leave the link down there in the description box for you to watch if you're a woman that is considering going for ivf please i beg you go and watch that video you are going to thank me later okay